Okay, so I still want to go see if I can find Clarence. Is was he at the tent? Uh, he, you know, he was the last time you saw him. Okay. So, um, first I would go check around the, like, our tents and see if people are there. Are they there? Our tents, like, sleeping tents, or our tents, like... Yeah, like, our sleeping tents. Uh, make a perception roll? I guess that's an investigation roll, but... Okay, but the letter. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Because you're trying. Like the to... letter. I still found the letter, right? Yeah, you had that. Because you did that before you went to see. Uh, Jem and talk about it. That's obviously. right. That's right. Okay. Okay. So, so the tents are all still empty. I know, right? Yes. At least, okay. the, you know, to your, you know, as far as you could tell, and there didn't seem to be many trails, at least from Wedge's one, because you investigated Wedge's trail, so you couldn't figure out where Wedge went. Okay. So, before I go to my on I actually want to, like, listen at Zathros' tent to see if anyone's in there. All right, so you're going to Zathros' tent? Yeah, I just want to listen in and see if I hear anything. All right. Being stealthy while mm. I do it. All right. Okay, stealth is... Oh, 10. <laughs> oh, no. Everything is going so poorly already. 10 for stealth. Awesome. And is it perception or, or investigation? Uh, this one, I guess, you're just looking for whatever, right? Yeah, I just want to hear yeah, if then someone's perception, in Yeah, then perception, yeah. So, uh, and, you know, as far as hearing, you don't hear anything, but you do see just at the very last second, like, some weird flash of light, and then nothing. Weird flash of light? Did it look arcane? Like, did it look like magic? That would be an arcane check. Arcana check, sorry. But, yeah. Wait a minute. Got a quick question. Yeah. Would she also have heard something? That's what we're getting to. That's why I'm checking this. You'll we'll see. Yeah. There's there's a lot going on. And yeah, the timing yeah. is where I, that's why I was checking this is like the timing is ever <laughs> so important in this episode of when things happen. That's why I'm having to wait for certain things because people's replies and choice of actions in certain areas matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gotta figure. It's a 19 on Kamana. What? Oh. So, how much? A 19? 19. Yeah, no, it looks magic. Super magic. Now if I could just type better, God, I suck. Okay, um, but I don't know anything more than it's just, it's magic. Uh, yeah, at least from where you were, and le I mean, I guess I don't really know where you were trying to look at it from, because you didn't really specify exactly. Yeah, like I was to... trying to, like, be, like, not, right. not super close to the entrance. Yeah, and that's kind of what I assume. So from this distance, even with the high check, you're just kind of basically able to determine like it's magic, that this weird light shine could be any number of magics. You know what I mean? It could be like a light yeah. spell, or it could be the light given off by an attack, or by some kind of uh, wall, or you know what I mean? Prismatic yeah. something. Was, was the light coming from the tent, or did it come from someone else? It seemed to come from the tent. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um. Well, knowing what I just heard. Oh wait, those glasses—they give me a boost to perception, right? Yes, if you are using them actively, it is an active use. So you have the glasses, but you you kind of have to do the thing in like anime where you like touch the glasses and then try to perceive things. You know what I mean? It's like, what's going okay. on here? glasses flash so i think the 16 yes. was my perception before right uh yes 
I think. And they were plus two? Yeah, so that's a that's a 18 now. Does that change anything? Um, so you do hear some slight noises. Um, mostly a very soft thud in the grass. Kind of just like a th Very soft thud in the grass. Okay. And that's in Zathros' tent? Uh, well, that would have been around his tent. So let's say, around all right, well, let's say, for instance, all right, let's be a little more, we'll be super hands on so I can. And this is his tent tent, right? His sleeping tent, I assume? Yeah. 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 So in this. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. That is the wrong map. <laughs> this is the right map. So let's say this is his tent, yes. Mm hmm. Well, I assume that you're kind of listening in from like over here. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll say the entrance is right here usually, at least as far as you know, mm -hmm. and you're listening in from just like kind of behind like a barrel or behind like, you know, this little tent here. And not hiding well because I rolled a 10. Yeah, but I mean, you did hide, just not well. Okay. And I got one more message to send, and we're almost caught up to each other. So if it's not in the tent, the thing came to me. I go towards the sound and the light, assuming they came from the same place. Out knees. Uh, yeah, you can definitely go towards it and I head that way. Go for it. It is surprisingly, or not, I guess, near the front of the tent, which is directly in front of the dragon. Of course it is. So. Now that I'm, now that I, now that I'm closer, what is it? Or is it just coming from the entrance of the tent? It's now not here. It was a flash, so it was literally like one second before of light and the little noise, and then gone. But it was coming from right there. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh fuck! I don't know what to do now. Um, never been by myself before. Um, well, I've been by myself, but it's been years. Uh, okay. So probably not the best idea to go into Zathros's tent. No, no, it's just fantastic. I'm smart. I <sighs> so I would probably. I would probably go try to find Clarence then, since that was in my vision. We go back to the other tent. To our original tent. Or play tent, I mean. So you're going back. Going back yeah. to the play tent? You're gonna yeah. just leave the Zarathos tent alone? Yeah, I think it's I think that'd be best. Alrighty. So we're gonna go to the main place there we go I think that'd be safest for my 33 hit points hey i mean you never know never know never. i could have just gotten another magic item who knows i i don't i i have no idea what's gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> so do i see clarence No. Okay. Well, then, uh, your girl's gonna go try and find some action in the south because she's stupid. So, and she wants to find her people and, and, because she's freaked out about the letter and she wants to know where everyone is. All right. She can definitely, you know, do that. So I I head back to uh the last place I saw someone would be Avitza. So I'd probably I'd probably head back to the what? Nothing. I just need to delete something. Aha, uh -huh, thank okay. you, Discord, you bitch. You can actually delete things. Yeah, I'd probably... 
If I don't see anybody, I'd probably head back to where I last saw Evitza. So you're going to try to head back to where you last saw Evitza? Yeah, so that would have been the bad side of... Yes, so how would you like to go about getting there? Uh... Um... I... I really want to go south. I want to go the south way. You were heading on, going on over there. It's a bad idea, but I want to do it. Well, that is totally up to you, so we'll take a trip to the south map. Uh, how do you want to go about this? Uh, I want to try to be stealthy. All right, give me just a bit, and we can make that all happen, hopefully. Well. And I'll activate my glasses with plus six stealth that I forgot about until now. Yeah, I love... That's why I was also like, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> you know. There was a lot of randomness that got inserted. It's easy to forget a lot of the cool stuff that gets inserted. Yeah. But, yeah, um... Welcome back to, uh, you know, Fukalverwerer. <laughs> Fukalverwerer. So Sounds more. Down here, right? uh, yes, actually, you would, because you're coming from the bottom side. Sorry, okay. that was just where you had exited. I had not moved you yet. That's fine. So, I'm going to try to be snelty. Snelty, I like that. Yep, I'll be snelty. And and kind of careful about it, so I want to check for traps as well. So stealth and perception. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Uh, six plus four plus six, sixteen for stealth. And then perception. <sighs> Uh, 14. My dice don't want me to do this. I mean, those aren't, like, bad rolls. In fact, they're, they're... not good. I mean, they're above average. I guess. Well, I rolled, so you... like, six or seven times, and I didn't get a single roll above that roll, so... Oh, okay. Well, then I feel a bit better. <laughs> so, I think you're alright. You, you, you managed to move through... Do I see anyone? Any of our party? Any... anything at all? Uh, actually, you surprisingly see almost nothing. No fights, no evidence of fighting, no people in surprise. I mean, maybe you just missed them all because they're super stealthy and you're both super stealthy and not perceiving each other, but... We're super stealthy and not smart about it. Uh, okay. So, I... Guess I just go over to the other side of the carnival, the bad side, through the south. Would I have to roll multiple um, perception checks to see for traps? Um, usually you can either use your base or you. I like to let people. It depends on how you're moving. We're kind of doing an out-of-combat, out-of-party situation, so I want it to move more, so I don't want you to roll every 60 feet. You know, you'd be rolling like 20 times. Mm -hmm. Just do one roll yeah. and hopefully don't get messed up. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, then the 16 would be okay? okay. Or the 18, I mean, for... for, for... <clears throat> no, it was 16. I was right the first time. I'll make sure you're whispering not to general. Yes, yes, yes. I only type the ones in general that don't matter. <laughs> Unless you <laughs> mention them. This is like, this talks about random perception. Well, I wonder who that could be. Don't tell them. <laughs> Did I? All 
right? Sorry, I gotta type to Zane. But yeah, you've made it through pretty much the whole forest with no one there, and you're off to the dark side of the carnival. Okay, this time entering from south, so that would be somewhere. That would be here, right? Yes. With yeah. okay. Although I would ask you give me but a moment to do the thing no that I no must trouble. do. Hiya! No trouble, just let me know. Alright, should be good now. Oh, okay, that was fast. Um, you might have okay. to replace your character, though. Yeah. Yeah, I moved it. Uh, I put it on. So, do I see anybody? I mean, I'd have you roll perception, but I think we both know the answer. No, okay. So nobody? Not even not even Paez here? Damn it, I thought I got rid of you, Paez. You're on the map layer, you dumb bitch. <laughs> that or it, there you got rid of the cat. Yeah, that I'm was sure intentional. It's not supposed to be a cat. It's supposed to be a fucking spider. <laughs> I've changed that. It is now a cat. A giant no. cat. No. Huge no. cat. Like, enormous. Actually, I don't know why I can't move Paez. What the fuck? Paez, get on the right layer. <laughs> Maybe you should have put her on the right layer to begin with. She was, and then we had to come back to a map we didn't know we were coming back to in the middle of the night for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for my people. Where is everyone? Apparently gone, and you are delightful on this. Uh, I'm in outer space. Am I delightful? Yes. You, you are extremely delightful. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Even when I threaten to shoot your character with a crossbow. You know, Wedge doesn't like it, but you know, it's, it's okay. Thank you. Of course, you don't. Uh, Wedge doesn't like it. It's just like how you don't like halflings. That's just, <laughs> just all my characters have. Even my halfling character doesn't like halflings. But that is the <laughs> You make racist characters. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is only racist against halflings. But then you have a halfling character. How does that work? Dad doesn't like halfling. <laughs> yeah, think about that for a second. He doesn't think he's a. He doesn't know he's a halfling. You know. What the hell does he know? A very small human. himself. Yeah, yeah, he especially know when himself, though. He thinks he's a Goliath. Yeah, and so someone's gonna have to tell him that. Who would who would honestly go into a conversation and bring up race though? I know, but someone's gonna have to point that out to him eventually. Think about that. He's gonna have to be someone's gonna have to point that out to him eventually. That'd be hilarious. It's gonna be the most saddest but funniest thing. Especially yeah. for it's going to be the most saddest thing. Oh gosh. So no, it's not going to be sad. Believe me, it's not. I have the problem. What the heck are you going to say? 
Well, that's for you all to find out if uh, y'all ever RP with him. I'm mildly concerned of how this is going to happen. I mean, someone... depends on how long everyone lasts in this adventure. Because <laughs> shit could go crazy at any moment. So, when I'm going to like, I'm going to like do a lap of and I, when I when when they were talking about the south side of the carnival that means this right for when you mean the for south when we were talking when we were talking with uh Jenny and he, he was talking more about the passage between the carnival like the so the passage wave the forest the south forest in between the carnival okay. is where everyone was gathered fighting earlier. Okay. Okay. And nobody was there that I saw. So I'm gonna, like, do, like, a lap here. I'm gonna go around, see if I see any... Whoops. Whoops, what have I done? Ah! Ah! It's alright, I'll take <laughs> oh care God. of it. Sorry, did you like the scream, though? I worked hard on it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, like, do a lap here. Kind of like this. Kind of go around and see if I see anybody. I'm assuming these people here aren't actually there. Yeah, anybody who is still on the map did not get correctly selected by the tool. Okay. Give me a moment. And so oh. I like, I like once once I realize that like sprinting around here because I'm like not even bothering to stealth at this point because I'm freaked out. Nobody's here at the carnival. Everyone's here. Oh god lord, it actually selected him that time. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about though. It doesn't show me that it selected them. Especially Clarence. Damn it, Clarence. Okay, so once I realize everyone's not here. Everything's quiet, right? Like everything's silent. It is. Uh, and where are you currently for just reference sake? Um, because I'm not stealthing at all, I would have been running in this circle. I'd probably be... I'd probably start running about, he about here is where I'd start running. Okay. Alright, so... What do, you, what do you do after the running in the circle? I... I realize no one's there! So... I fucking, I guess I'm gonna make you switch maps again and go back to Zathros' tent, because that's the only thing I know. Okay, and which way are you taking? Uh, I'm actually gonna take... I'm actually gonna go up this way. And go out that way. It's gonna go north. See if any person exists in this world anymore. I told you I'm in outer space. You may well be in outer space. You know what? You're probably talking to to Zathros in his magic tent. You would think, right? Believe me, so I wish I was. Sorry, one more time. I missed it because I'm so caught up, and I apologize for that. No problem. Um, I would go, like, I would cut the circle off here and go up, up, and go out the north way. Okay, so when you get to right here. Where? Right here. I don't see. It's way up there. Unless I'm on the wrong map. Oh, okay. I see you. When okay. you get way up there. You see somebody, somebody familiar. <gasps> somebody familiar? Who do I see? Ta -da! I see Clarence. It's Clarence. Is that Clarence? Clarence! Why, hello. Yo. <laughs> I guess it's now my turn. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I thought I saw Clarence, not, not the doll. No, it should be Clarence. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was confused by, by I think they're talking. talking about something else. 
Yeah, Maybe. what you're saying is her turn for technical difficulties. It happens. Okay. Okay. I'm so smart, you guys. So, I'm not. <laughs> I wish I so was. So I, I go up to Clarence and I say, Hello, Clarence, how are you? He's like, How you doing? Good evening, madam. I'm, uh, I'm freaking fuck out. It's, you know, it's me too. Have you seen anyone? You know, I came over here to look for some friends of mine. <clears throat> um, and they're gone. All of them. They're gone. They're, they're gone. gone. Okay, okay. I'm specifically okay. Troll. Specifically Troll. He was the beast master, right? Actually, sorry, was that the right one? I might be referencing the wrong troll. Yes, I actually, that is the right mean. troll, and he is also the chess master. Chess master, sorry. He, he does both. It's all, it's all good. Okay. But he's like, yeah, I came so, over here looking for troll, and a couple of the other guys in the pen heard some bad shit was going down. Where did you hear it was happening? Uh, originally in the south. So I came prepared to do some shit, and then I got to the south, and there was no one there. I had that same experience. Hmm. Hmm. Have you so you've seen nobody? And I, my, all my people are gone too. All of them? Everyone except for Jem, and unless she was kidnapped. Hmm. That is a predicament. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on one. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So, you've seen no trace of them. The only trace I've seen of anyone is a weird flash outside Zathros' tent. Hmm. You said Zathros' tent? Yeah. You know, it's funny you mention that. Last time I saw one of my friends, he was headed in that direction. Clarence, would you care to join me in going to Zathros' tent? Nah, that bitch, I'm out. No. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. I need awesome. to find the troll and the source of this mysterious disappearances. Yeah. I'm apparently the ringmaster now? Oh, shit. Congratulations! Yeah. Moving up. Thank you. Yeah, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to file a complaint with HR. I've been here longer than you. That's fair. Thank you. Well, There's let's go. There's so many people who've been here longer than me. Yeah, someone's going to be pissed. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I, I assume we go to the through the top forest. Yes. Yes. All Carly needed, all Carly needed was a friend to feel more confident. <laughs> I do not even know what to use for this, so we're just gonna go with this. These are all variations of this. Ooh, nice. Oh! I forgot to GM roll that, but oh well. Actually have a lot of things that have a plus two so even if you looked at my sheet you wouldn't be able to decide that's why i said it's like oh well some things like some things are bad like the thing earlier from jewel that was a breaker of some walls but most of the time like you roll whatever in there as long as you don't say what it's for it's like oh well he rolled to do stealth or i'll maybe roll to pick his nose i don't know 
<laughs> a 20 to pick my nose, man. It's fucking great. Nat 20. You get all the boogers out? This french fry is so hard, it's like a Whoa. chip. Excuse me, boo. I'm sorry, I just I'm have eating. to do it. <laughs> hey, so who said that I don't want the french fry to be hard? For me. <laughs> I hope all of that crunch was picked up on Mike. I just want to say, Michael, that I've literally did this whole spiel, so I would have someone say that. Oh, I love you. I love you, Axel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Axel, what was that for? What do I get with that lovely assist? Oh, Lord. Sorry. Uh, because you had asked me in the moment of. Yes. And I'm assuming for that. Um, Did you ask for the. Do, 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 do. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Clear. All oh, right. I forgot. I typed. Yours over here for safety's sake now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That is fair. It's just easier to separate the conversations sometimes. <laughs> if they're both in different spots, then at least, like, I accidentally posted one to Discord, but I know Michael's paying attention a little more to the chat because I'm chatting with him in it, so I yeah. might have gotten away with it. I don't know. Probably didn't. See, the reason why I'm talking to you in Roll20 is because you're most likely to see these in roll 20 than you are discord yeah unfortunately the the fucking messaging one on discord is once again in a bad spot for me it just gets blocked off where my direct messages come in i wonder if i can move those from the top nope Fuck. Uh, and i have a second monitor so it's like okay i can look over here it, and look it's back on over my second monitor it's just that the monitor <laughs> has something in front of it in the very top left corner it's like a oh. shelf. So there's oh, like a little absolutely. shelf right in front of that corner. But, uh, yeah. Absolutely. You, know you, need? you need like uh, four or five monitors. That's I need mean. at least one more. I think one more would do it. And honestly, I will, I'm going to be honest, it's probably too much. I can barely handle all these screens, dude. Like, I'm getting the hang of it after months of having it, but it's a lot of screens to do shit on. And once again, Ooh. somehow I still need fucking more. I believe you. You're a genius. You can figure it out. I am not a genius. I'm not a genie at all. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Damn it. Smartness. I mean, you're the best genie. God, I love this group. I'm sorry, and but we we're love just... you. Exactly. But we're still we both just as fast. Unk. And I think this is a better idea. I was going to do something else, but this is a better idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you go through the top forest, you see nobody. Absolutely Still nobody. nobody. Yeah, but Clarence is like, what the fuck? The whole time. He's yeah. just like, Clarence, it's Clarence's turn to freak out. We don't get any stealth for that, then. <laughs> no. Not that it matters. No. So I lead him to where I saw the light and the thud. All right, before that, uh, <laughs> when you do show back up onto this map, you're not going to like me for this. I just know it. You see an abnormally suspicious amount of people hanging around again. Oh no. Ooh. Hey guys. What's going on? So I'm like right here probably. I'm right here-ish? Yeah. I'm trying to find Clarence. And did you just say roll to roll initiative? No. Yeah, was, I was just fucking around. Yeah, he's just oh. fucking with you. Oh, buddy. <laughs> it was like I was this close to... <laughs> No, but don't forget to roll to see who you know. Oh, shit, sure, you're right. I have, this is the first people I've seen today, so I've forgotten. How many are there? Uh, there should um, be like, let's say like four in sight currently. 
Four in sight. Five. Actually, sorry. Five in sight. Uh, that's a five. Uh, that's a 19. Uh, 49. 99! One of them recognizes me! Awesome. That Two. Less awesome, but still. Yeah, so just one of them recognizes me. Uh, we're gonna say this person over here recognizes you. They're like, oh, shit! What's up, Carly? Nothing much, man. What's up with you? Ah, uh, you know, just chilling here. I saw you walking off earlier, <laughs> looking all freaked out. Yeah, yeah. Do you know where everyone is? What do you mean? Like, Gunther and... Oh, you um, mean your troop leader? Yeah, and Florence and the rest of my troop that I'm apparently now the ringmaster of. Oh, I've got a whoa. raise. Shit, congratulations. Thank I'm gonna you. Make, uh, I'm going to make a complaint to HR, by the way. As well you should. I am 35. You just see Claire's like, I've already said it. Don't worry. Yeah. He's like, uh, maybe, you know, I haven't seen those maybe. people. Uh, I did see, you know, a couple of people, um, hanging about earlier in different places. Some kobolds and random things and this one little ridiculously random thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's a carnival. You see lots of stuff. But, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, just the average amount of people, no. I haven't seen those people, but I don't really see those people often. Those are your friends. No offense. Yeah. They're cool people, fine. though. And those are your yeah. friends, so we really don't fucking care about them. <laughs> That's basically what he just said. Look, Dabble Dob Horcus Porcus does not not give a fuck about people. He just doesn't give a fuck about those people. Dabble, sorry? Sorry, Dabble Dob Horcus Porcus. Dabble Dob Horcus Porcus, okay. Yeah. Dabble Dob Horcus Porcus. Marvelous. He is a no. Um... He's a gnome. Yes. Okay. Um, so do you know where anyone went? Like, you guys are the first people we've seen tonight. Well, who did you want to meet? Hmm. You know, if I'm honest, I kind of want to meet with Zathros. Oh, you want to meet Zathros? Yeah. Well, I mean, he is the Liri Lubebogra, which, uh, which in Gnomish means the leader of the entire carnival and everything inside of it, on this side at least. Mm hmm But uh, seeing him might be a little more difficult than that. I heard it's kind of tough to get in touch with him, at least recently. Hmm. How odd. Do... Do I? Okay, okay. Hold on, let me think for a second here. I... So, have you noticed anything particularly strange going on? Like, yeah, we're a carnival, but, but like, seriously strange? Well, uh... Seriously strange is a little of an understatement here. I think mm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I and I shouldn't be telling you this. Come on though, we're buds. I saw some weird shit at his tent. Which tent? Well, Zarathos's tent. What did you see? I don't know what I saw. It's like a doll and a guy and a kobold in a cup. Kind of a door. It was weird. I don't know f fully what it was. Can I insight check? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, twelve plus four, I think. In three, so uh, fifteen. Give me one moment. I have to scroll back down to it, but I need to look at this first because <laughs> I'm trying to look at this roll from earlier to determine something. Mm-hmm. Alright, where 
is it? He just re-rolled it, so I should be able to see it. Are you talking about what I rolled? Yeah, I, I was just, I needed to compare it to somebody else's roll earlier in the thing. Uh, you oh. could tell this guy's lying to you. This guy's lying. Yeah, he's okay. lying. He's a straight lying. At least you think he's straight lying. Bud. I... <sighs> I really, I really want you to tell me the truth. And I think my dragon friend here wants wants you to tell us the truth as well. Clarence, like, wait, me? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, me. And he just, like, puts on a mean face. <laughs> <laughs> so I really, I really... Can you just tell me the truth? You see him, like, look scared. He's like, what, what do you mean? I, I am telling you the truth. You could also roll to intimidate, of course. I will roll to intimidate. Wait, is my intimidation very high? I don't know. <laughs> it's a plus six. It's a plus six. I don't know why it's plus six. That's a seven. I'm sorry, an eight. Not very intimidating. Listen, we're friends, so I just want you to tell me the truth. He looks, goes from like his scared kind of like, don't hurt me look, almost like, like unnaturally quickly to like a intense, like almost crazily intimidating look to the point where you're almost intimidated. No, oh, no. Yeah, and he looks at you and he says... We're good friends, so I'll tell you this right to your face. You don't want no part of this. You go back to your tent. You go to sleep. You stop asking questions. And we'll both be safer for it. And you just see, like, sweat pouring off of his brow at the same time. <laughs> his eyes are, like, darting around. Who told you to say that? And he turns around his back to you before he starts walking off. He's like, if I could tell you that, I wouldn't have said that, would I? Well, it's got a point. And he, like, gets to right around here. You just hear, like, a dull thud. But a loud dull thud. A loud dull thud. Yep. Ken. Okay. So that was... Well, fuck! I can't go to- I can't just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but gonna, sleeping I'm... is for the weak! Yeah, I mean, come on. So I pop my head in and make sure Jem is still there. Is Jem still there? Jem, are you still there? I've been sleeping this entire time. Well, there's yeah, your answer. I want to hear a loud snore. I did not steal. I did not steal away Jim in the middle of the night like I have all your other companions. <laughs> have you ever been on an adventure where the entire party just suddenly disappeared one by one? Yeah. <laughs> not, and now I'm the master of them. Didn't die. Didn't just leave. Just gone. Fuck. But yeah, until she gets her long rest, unless something disturbs her, she's sleeping. Okay. Okay. Clarence? Yo. I say quietly so that the other three that are right behind us don't hear me. Clarence uh, does not get your hint of things. He's just like, yo. Should we... Well, I want your opinion. Should we... Go fucking to sleep, I guess, or should we go into Zathros's tent? Well, he like looks back, looks forward, he seems to be like seriously contemplating what does he want to do? Hi, hello, Michael. 
Uh, hi. You know, as much as I want to go to sleep and just put this craziness behind us, because I'm absolutely sure no one was fucking here. It's bullshit. I'm a dragon. I know these things. Mm-hmm. Fucking dragon. Anyway, we should go in the tent. Some screaming at me. Maybe it's the giant dragon on top, but I just feel something about it. Okay. Okay. Let's do it then. I'm assuming these gentlemen let us pass. Uh, yeah, they're just chilling. I mean, they're like facing this way, but they're not like actively even looking at you. Except for this guy. That but guy's he's, looking but, at us. Yeah, but he's ogling you. So. Oh, he's ogling? Yeah. Okay. Well, if he causes a ruckus later, I will just <laughs> push my boobs at him. <laughs> because it's a ruckus, just flash the boobs at him. Never, uh, never heard that solution. But you know what? I think it could lead to world peace. Honestly. Absolutely. Yeah. So we go to the tent. We just go, and I, I stop like right, no, like right here. And I want to see if anyone is like. Can I see anybody through the door of the tent? So the door of the tent is once again, it's actually like an actual door. There's like a building in there. Oh, right. So it does have the tent right. opening, but it just leads to like a wooden big door. Okay. Okay. Um, shit, do I knock? That's probably polite. Uh,. Okay, so I guess I I feel like I feel like I'm going to the principal's office to knock and see if I found my friend. <sighs> so um, is there any? Oh, sorry, never mind. You're good. I was thinking of something else. I I guess I knock on the door. Alrighty, you knock on the door and. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Is the door trapped? How did you have to check? I mean, this. <laughs> you have okay, to do. Well, you could well, probably well, perception or an investigation for that. Uh, yeah. uh, sixteen. Uh, 16. So, looking at it, uh, you see, now that you're looking at the door, you can see that it's pretty interesting. It has a standard kind of handle, but the key, like the keyhole, is shaped like a dragon's mouth. Hmm. Yeah, and, you know, for whatever reason, the door itself seems to be, like, different. You can't really tell why, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be trapped, but it does seem different. I wonder if we should put your face in it, Clarence. Clarence <laughs> tilts his head to the side. He's like, "What? What? It's shaped like a dragon's mouth." I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't worry. Can I figure out how to open it? Because if I can, I want to open it. Just a crack. Uh, you attempt to, but it seems locked. Seems locked. Can I lockpick it? You can try. Do I have a lockpick? Do you have thieves tools? That's the question. E. I do. I do have thieves tools. I do indeed have thieves tools. And that's sleight of hand? I Yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. Okay. Fuck it, I'm an inspiration that, because that was a two. Better. I mean, it's an 11. Plus 7. So 18. Mm, not bad. So you extend out your pick. You begin to, like, get ready to 
start picking the lock, and as soon as your two instruments enter, the dragon mouth animates, reaches out, and you need to roll a reflex save. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no! That's a one! Ooh. Jen's dice Ooh. is toast now! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where is the page? I need to check something. Oh, oh it no! Looks like Claire maybe just lost a fucking hand. <laughs> oh no! I so I, uh, I want you to note that as you um are going to like pick this lock or whatever, and as it like reaches out to happen and to try to get you, you see something uh, small quickly like dart under where your hand is, like to the ground in front of the door, and then f pick back up and fly off. What? And the dragon didn't get my hand? Oh no, that happened. I'm just deciding how much damage it does right now. Oh god. So, what was that? You can roll perception for that. If you're not, you know, distracted by the pain this is about to cause you. Roll a d6. Uh, d6. Three. So, three damage, and uh, you are currently grappled by that lock as it is biting your hand. Ow! So it wasn't a lot of damage. I want a perception check that thing that I just saw. Okay. 15 plus 4 is 19. Uh, you, it looked like a, like, tiny dragon. Like a pseudo dragon. A, t a pseudo dragon? Yeah. Florence. Florence? <laughs> Where is Florence? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they roll better on those stealth rolls there, Florence. Nine, nine, that is great. That Flo uh, Florence is not even considered until the tiny pseudo dragon. <laughs> this is a dead giveaway. <laughs> Can I look around and think if I see Florence? You definitely can, although you are still grappled by this lock. I will deal with that in a moment. <laughs> it's an 18 plus 4 is 22. <laughs> I fucking love it. Uh, you don't see uh, her, but you do see the pseudo dragon just kind of like chilling over here with something. I think so. It's like. 10 feet from me, so I look at it just dead in the eye and try to get out of this grapple. So you're trying to get out of the grapple? Yes. Okay, so, you know. Uh, in the meantime, Flora, uh, Ursula's looking at Clarence and just like uh, looks at it, looks at the dragon, it's just like he uh, looks back at the key. Wait, who's in the room now? Nobody's in the room yet. No one, no one is. Or, or, I'm just giving some narrative to her. Because <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I see the dragon. Yes, yes, she freaking do. It's great. So it, it's acrobatics or strength? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go acrobatics. Eight plus uh five. Yeah, so 13. 13. I freaking love this. I can't get out of this fucking dragon mouth. Yeah, no, not with a five. No, it was a thirteen if I remember. Twenty yeah, eight. Yeah, eight plus five. Oh, eight plus five. <laughs> Yeah! Sorry, sometimes <laughs> it cuts on my end. It's not you guys, it's on oh, my sorry. end, I can tell. Um, sorry. Yeah, you beat it. It didn't have a good roll. Oh, yeah. So, it, you know, you pull your hand out, you know, uh, without getting any more damage, but, you know, you're obviously bleeding a bit, because that's a pretty hefty amount of damage for a hand. 
and uh, the 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 lock basically returns to its basic shape as a you know lock as opposed to a dragon's mouth. Okay. Hold on a tick, and then I go to where Ursul was, which is here, right? Uh, it was. Yeah, it's in this general area. I don't, we, we don't really have a specific place. We didn't determine it, but it's in this general area. You know. Cool. Yeah. So I go up to him, and I say, I'm about 80% certain you can't actually respond to me. But where is Florence? Uh, <laughs> it looks at her. It's, it, it looks back down at the key. And, um, let me see, um... Can I have the key? can I have the key? And it looks at you, it looks at you, and you say, and it's like, give it the key, and it's like, no, it shakes his head, like, hell no. Nope. <laughs> like, how does it look of no? Can I, I can offer you a trade. I have... Um, I have, um, a dice set that I can mm -hmm. trade for that key. <laughs> I love how you're going to start. <laughs> and what was that crap fail Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, it's one of those days, man. It is one of yeah. those days. Dex fail. Uh, I'm gonna look at the, look at um. I'm gonna say Coraline. I'm sorry, my sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got it right. And she, it's just gonna keep shaking it. Ah, no. Um, I have gold. Oh. I have some gold. And it's just gonna look at her like. No, <laughs> like still shaking his head. Like it has a, it, it, I wouldn't say it has a bad feeling, but it just it has. It's, it knows for a fact that in this general area, I would think it would have a general area of where its companion is in this case, quote unquote. Okay, so it's giving you a hell no, 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 no. It's like it. I can't be good. Is Florence, the... hmm? Is Florence in the tent? It conveys it's not quite sure. Well, you want us to check, don't you? I am. Uh, she could be in danger. Don't you want us to help her? Uh, yeah, uh, it kind of. Wearily nods, like, yeah, it's probably makes sense. Okay. But it's just weird. Weird. Because this place definitely does have weird vibes. Yeah, it's kind of conveying that it's weird. It's weird in the what? sense that it's weird. Like, because the last time it, it remembered, it was had one, I had another order I had to follow, and the fact that. It knows that this key belong it was on probably more or less going to be handled by Florence. So it's very confused why it is standing out the you know, outside the door. More or less. So I hold my hand out and I say, Let us help Florence and just give me the key. <laughs> um I can roll to persuade your dragon, if you want. I- I- it's not that it doesn't want to be persuaded, it's just that it's... It's very much con uh, uh, thinking about this. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh. Hey, Axel? Yes. Would a pseudo dragon be smart enough to think of uh, to think of something smart for five seconds? Uh, well, 
If I remember, oh, that's right. You're not a druid. That's an animal companion. I don't know. Let's see. It has an intelligence of ten. I mean, that's like a person. Yeah. It's like a basic person. <laughs> exactly. What I'm saying. So like, yeah. I mean, they have good ideas sometimes. Basic, regular people. Fucking weirdos. No, it's like. Ouch. Who, who Ouch. wants to be? Just... Who wants to be normal? Fucking gross. Yeah. Me. I want to be normal. Ah, uh, guys. Uh, Earth looks around and you know heads over to Florence's tent, or at least what would be her little area, and sees this. Tries to find something it could use, which I'm guessing would be what. I follow. Sorry, one more time. Um, uh, Earthlord goes, heads towards Florence's tent, and looks for something in, in specific mind. Okay. And, um, you can tell me I if you want to know, but you can always just roll it to me. Or, you know, I believe in you. What I'm just, I'm just asking. So, would it be perception or investigation, more or less? Investigation, probably, because it's for something specific. All right. Night, Diffy. Maybe less. <laughs> Sorry, right, it is about that time, and we are almost at a stop point. We're pretty close. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, but apparently that nat one happened. Yes, it did. So yeah, no. Yeah, I'm heading out. Night, right, guys. All right. Night, listen. Have a good one. Yeah. All right. It looks for a minute, and it's get, it gets a little bit frustrated, but before I say it, it helps in like can't find what it's looking for before it's sitting just back down in the center. <laughs> like, it's mad about can't find something, but not sure where else to look. Ursula has so confused I itself. <laughs> yes, Ursula. I hold my hand out again. I hold my hand out again, and I say, you can come with us if you like. It, it looks at you and so it doesn't say, but it can, tries to convey uh, that even though it's very much annoyed, but it's like, I'm looking for something. Like, almost like, I'm looking for something. But can't find it. You can't talk to tell me what you're looking for. Yeah, I know. It's, but it, it's clearly conveying agitation. So you're a little annoyed. I totally understand. But I think it would be best if we go into... Zathros' tent, and I'm assuming that's what that key's for, so why don't you hand it over? Um. Um. Alright, alright. She, as much as it looks very much annoyed, but it's going to do it. Go along with them. So it's, it's, but it's still conveying some level of annoyed. Like it had, it was kind of annoyed <laughs> for I a reason. I pat him on the head to soothe him with my animal handling skill. <laughs> it was caused by the dragon, a tiny dragon. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like an animal, kind of. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a platypus. Oh my god! Platypus. 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 It's like a platypus. It's an animal. So I pat on the head with animal handling. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing saying you can't. I know. <laughs> that's the word for it. I'm just like, it doesn't. It, it, <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> so, so I take my two dragons. I give me your two dragons. <laughs> I'm borrowing. I'm borrowing. <laughs> so I take the two dragons, and I go back to the door, <laughs> and then I try to use the key. All right. So you're gonna use the key? Yeah. All right. It clicks. Seems to open the door. You know, it's it's you can open the door now that the lock and key have been used. And so I. Which... Sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say. Well, you, you gotta you gotta it? open the door, or what are you gonna do? I was gonna wonder if he's if Carly's gonna hand the key back to the floor. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, give me back my <laughs> key. <laughs> Like, that was my key! Sweet. <laughs> if this is making an, an, an insistence, then yes. But if not, then no. <laughs> like, if he, if, he looks, if he looks like he wants it, like he's like nipping at my hand or whatever. No, then not I really it. nipping, but he's just giving you a look like, oh, I would like that back, please. Like the yearning <laughs> puppy dog's just like, please. Do you want the key? Do you want the key? <laughs> just like he just why not? Don't lose this key. Don't lose the key. And I hand it back to the dragon. The yes. pseudo dragon. Yes. So I crack open the door. I crack open and I peer inside with my glasses. What do I see? Made this so you open the door, huh? I, I crack it open and I peer inside, yeah. Alright, make a reflex save. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh. Anybody close to the door, including Clarence! <gasps> oh, no! By the way, is this, can I ask a question? Since this is magic produced, uh, does magic resistance kick in? You would think, but that's not how this part of it functions. This part of it is not mm -hmm. magical. So 18 plus, uh, what's reflex? Dex? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Great 18 plus 3 is 21. Alrighty, so you uh, see a blinding flash of light, which starts to try and pull you in, but before it is able to do so, you jump backwards. Uh, however... Damn my reflexes! I should've kept the key! Uh, it so then, uh, Ursul, unfortunately, did not make it, and is sucked Fuck. in, as is Clarence. However, uh, when they are sucked in and the door slams shut behind them, basically, and you see a little, you know, basically you open it, it went, Ree! and then it goes, bump! As they get sucked in, I will mention too that it never opened more than that crack. They are sucked in through that crack. Okay. But uh, the key drops to the ground as the door shuts. Ah. Okay. So quickly, I pick the key up and I write a quick note in my journal which I tear out a page of a blank page and I run back over to Jem's tent and I leave the note that basically says there'll be a key outside Zathros's house outside his tent stomach I guess and I run back, and I use the key. Alrighty, so as before, you know, the door locks, I assume you're, or unlocks, and I assume you're trying to open it again? Yeah. Once again, you open it, and a blinding flash of light happens, and you need to make a reflex and a strength check, if you would like to. Obviously, you don't have to, I guess. Um, no, I'm gonna go see what it's doing. So you're gonna go in? Are you gonna let it I'm pull go you in? Alright, roll a d8. A d8. Oh no. Oh god, where's my d8? 
Y'all, where's my D8? Oh, it's right here. I see it. Seven. <laughs> Is it really a seven? It, it's roll of seven. Fuck, I think I know where you're at. God damn it. That wasn't the point of this. Now I gotta go back and look and be sure, though. Yep. God damn it. All right. What? Just, nothing. What it's nothing. It's not you. It's the dice. Um, and my decision to um, let everything rely on them. <laughs> Did I find my people? Oh, actually, I can do this without too much things because it opens. Uh, so suddenly, after several minutes of falling through the, you know, light, the pure light, you land in a room. And, uh, yeah, you're in a room. You're gonna have to make a perception check, though. Because you've just been just pulled through a, a magical portal and distorted through space-time. A perception check. Yeah. Because you're just looking around. You're just getting your bearings. That dice took a journey. It's a 19 plus a 4. Oh. Uh, 23. So as you look around, you are less startled by your dimensional shift as you would think. You see that the room is filled to the brim with coins and gems and gold nether artifacts uh, as well as the walls being inscribed with a very special kind of magic and oh. yeah there's a very ruins. special kind of magic yes you can tell it's special just by looking at it um is anyone here with me yeah. uh yes actually you see uh florence <laughs> Speaking of, Ursul also uh, needs to. Ursul also needs to roll a d8. Oh gosh. Um, actually, no. Wait a minute. Uh, you never told me if I broke the concentration on something. So, uh, just want to ask that. Um, what happened? <laughs> Cause remember. Florence doesn't look like Florence. Oh, fuck. I forgot oh, you no. never stopped that. Yeah, so sorry. You come into a bit room and you see the doll from earlier and a slightly larger than normal kobold. Um. Hi. And which it kind of looks at you for a bit before. Find a second <laughs> damn roll. Before speaking and saying, in complete common. Holy crap, Carly. Where the f- One second. Does God, it know me? So much in the chip. Do I know it? Uh, I guess you I could roll for it. I should roll. <laughs> I, I should roll my D100. I know, I know it's Florence, but Carly doesn't. Uh, that's a seven. No. Yeah, you have no, no clue. Doesn't. Even if you did, this, you wouldn't know because it's a clue ball. Yeah. Uh... Holy crap! Um, you know you've got me at a disadvantage. I don't know your name. I know the doll, but it's the doll. And <laughs> I, I shit you not, I left all this to the roll. I did not decide where people went for this. I wanted it to be funny and random, but uh. <laughs> Fucking, uh. Yeah, it's not as funny as random as you would think. Wait a minute. What did I miss? Nothing. I miss? It's, it's not for you, it's for someone else. Oh. I said, um. I said, you've caught me at a disadvantage. I don't know your name. Because I had to roll for it, and I rolled a seven, so she doesn't recognize the kobold. <laughs> it just looks at her. Like. Uh, and she looks back down at herself. Oh, right, 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 right. Spell, spell, right, spell. Uh, it's hard to believe, but, um, it's me. Florence? Yes! 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a long story with this. Yeah. And which, uh, it's a long story. I'm guessing. Got a quick question. Any chance you found Clarence? Cause I did actually. Oh, great, great, great! That's great. 
Wait, if you found Clarence, did you see Earth in the old Smith said this? I did! I did! Uh, I got the key from Ursul. Um, he was very agitated, so I gave him the key back. Um, and I, mean, I look around okay. and he's clearly not here. So, uh, whatever uh, magic it has been must have. must have. must have separated us. Oh, that's gonna be great. And that dragon does. Uh, it's not that she likes shiny things, it's just that she does tend to have a curiosity streak over some things, or sometimes every now and then some harebrained ideal. Mm. She didn't want to. Didn't want to take my my dice set and trade for the key. If it's anything like me opening the door and then that happen, any chance you open the door and then just magically end up here, I'm scared. Yeah. It took a couple minutes of falling, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think that that probably might have been a contributing factor. If, uh, yeah. Here is off. Of, uh, don't know where it is. Especially since, especially since pointing points over to the glyphs of how this place is definitely has a teleportation mechanic to it. Yeah. Do you think there's a? Do you think there's a? Like, what are these magic? What does it? What does it say on the walls? Do you know? Uh, yeah. Like I said, it's a tel. It seems to be a teleportation mechanic. Relying on the runes being inscribed, or in short, it's rigged to trip when the door is open. But seeing as we're... I didn't see Ursul, I have 20 bucks guessing that it's a Russian roulette sort of thing? Hmm, great. Any idea how to get out of here? That, that, that's a definitely question that I've been me and... And I've been looking for more or less me and my um my senses. Frankly, this is kind of funny here, sitting here as uh, parading around as a kobold, in which, like I said, it's going to be a long story. Yeah, I'm excited to hear it. Um. Oh uh, yeah, no. Yeah, more or less. Quick question: Why do you have the doll? The doll is still the doll, right? Um, it's just that it, had, I mean, made, I mean, it was, before, you know, making my way here, it was nearby. I'm guessing either Wedge or, what's his face, the Lion Tamer guy. Girl, Ivica. Ivica, yeah, Ivica. Uh... Of it, uh, <laughs> might have dropped it off nearby. <laughs> Didn't think this was. Uh, I mean, this is not an ideal spot for it, but. No. Yeah, but anyway. Well, uh, um. Have you tried to grab any of these coins? As much as the ever loving greed out of it, would every part of my greed is looking at it and saying I should. But also at the same rate, I'm more concerned of getting out of here than stuffing my pocket. We can do this. I may hesitantly <laughs> grab some golden jewels. Alright. What would you like to grab? Which means you'll have to look around for what you want to grab. Okay, I'd look around to see what I want to grab. 11 plus 4 is probably because of perception or investigation. Both are 4. Um, so 15. All right, well, you see that there is a treasure trove, a big chest of gold coins, a large ruby. Um, there is a lot. I mean, when I say, so to give like, we'll say that also gives you a better idea of the room. So this room is bigger than the tent could possibly be. By several times. Ho, 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 ho. And when I say filled with coins, I mean like you can't see the floor filled with coins. Like you can't stand oh, yeah, no. filled with coins. So we're standing in gold then. Yeah. Oh, radical! Like, who cares? Yeah, you just um, pick up a big ass like chunk full, or much you can carry. I definitely grab that ruby. For sure. 
Um, wait a minute. And while Florence is watching this whole fiasco, Kaisa looks around and does she see like an exit or some way of an out? Uh, or you was could... there one, you know, offered? So earlier, while examining, you know, the things you were examining, mm -hmm. uh, you came to a minor conclusion in that the teleportion mechanism is activated by, well, we'll just say somebody lets you know that it's activated by inscribing ruins. Because they're not here right now, but they were trying to get some communication across on that and were unable to. Uh, How much is so, yeah. So, in short, it's a, it's a one way ticket. It's a mm, one way. No, in. so you need to use warding to get out of this. R warding and runes. We have to draw magic sigils. Uh, oh, shit, we're in a puzzle room, you guys. I mean, but you at least have the mage in here with you. That's true. I could be here by myself, and I'd never be shit up the creek. Did you know I'm the ringleader now? Uh, Ringmaster. Same one. Same one. Uh, is this is this is just something that has nothing really to do with your character. Uh, Florence, roll a roll a d one hundred. Oh God. Four. What do I get from that fifty four? So you are okay with this. Like, you, you're not going to go talk to HR. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, think, you think she's fitting in for the position? It's true, but I mean, that's... I mean... It was something I had to know, put out there. You know how old Florence is. No one ever asked how old she is. Well, she means that you've been there at the carnival less time. Yeah. But yeah, I thought I just thought I wanted to put that in there. It's like sometimes you don't get to decide how you feel about those things. <laughs> just... That's hysterical. Oh, but even then, Florence is like, yeah, I'm not much for um being a ringleader. So I'm so glad, but at the same rate, it makes me wonder why would Spencer want to change the whole thing? Yeah, I don't know. I found it in a letter. Couldn't really ask him about it. Um, how much gold do I get, by the way? Uh, how much can you... I mean, you said you tried to, what, grab a handful, a bucket full, a, as much as you can carry? I, I would probably say... I don't want to go crazy here. <laughs> um, I would probably say a handful or two, just tuck them into my, tucking them into my various pockets. Alright, you know, a couple handfuls of gold pieces, we'll say like 40, 50 gold. Ooh, nice, Easy. 50 gold. I mean, shit, that beats your guys' is like, that's like a month's worth of take from the carnival. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Florence is gonna kind of look around in the pile, as much as the gold looks appealing. She's gonna see if there's anything in here that probably could be any of use. I found a ruby. When you say and use, I, I'm assuming you mean use in getting out? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same game. And when she kind of, uh, Florence looks at it, says, Yeah, you could use it. But, I mean, it would have to be crushed up, and you, and the spells that probably that is required for are not in my spell book. Well, I mean, I was just gonna take it because it's money. <laughs> and you know, Floyd's just like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking from a scholar point of view. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, it, it happens. I, it, it happens like that. Maybe I'll turn it into a necklace. Um, yes, I, I guess I'd rather have this one in which she pulls out the one that, that's her arcane focus. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not much for riding around with a staff in hand, wand, and say, "Oh, I'm a, I'm a mage." Mm -hmm. I would rather make it very much easy, oh, easy for work, but also enjoyment. 
Yeah, a bit more Best. subtle. Well, yeah. Hmm. It works. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna... typing in general chat, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will assist her in looking for um, things that will help us get out of here. Anyone has the better perception? <laughs> That's gonna be the best question. Uh, my perception is a four. Uh, three. Okay. Should you assist me then? Yep. Hopefully, this can work out much better. I mean, I just feel like I'm kind of better at noticing things, you know? Plus, I have these cool glasses, which I activate. Okay. 19 plus 4 is 23, plus 2 is 25. 25? Yeah, yeah we're going to help us get out of here. Yeah, and she's getting advantage from Florence. So you definitely notice that the, the walls of the cave seem to be ash stained in certain places and as the glowing is passing through there is a certain pattern to it that you seem to think you could recreate on its own by drawing on it uh, okay but so basically but imagine that the the ruins create a pattern right you got like the light shines through it in a specific order and you're noticing that it shines through it in that order um, but also, did we find any magical items? Ah, uh, yes, the magic this? items. You do see a couple things that seem to have, like, magical auras kind of going around them. Or at least seem special in that regard. But you can't be totally sure without using a, you know, detect magic or a specific arcana check for individual items. But you do find about three items. A spear, a cloak, and you don't really recognize the third thing. But it looks like weird Ooh. i'm gonna put this in chat so i don't forget a spear, spear cloak and a weird thing and thing yeah. the witch Lawrence kind of looks at the spear and wonders Ooh. can she I'm run an arcana check to see what the heck the uh, at least you at least a few of the items are Yes. Uh, do you want to? You gotta do a separate check for each of them, though. Oh, cool. can I assist? Yes. I assist. Might as yeah. well. It says you can I'm assist like on most of these. Yeah, it's just like, well, maybe it's this. You're not helping. <laughs> bard. You don't know magic, bard. And it's like I got a plus three arcana. Music is magic. <laughs> and, then you got, and then this man has a plus six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're just doing this again. You should say I read about this thing in a book. Maybe it's that. Okay, what do I get from the 11 for the spear, the 20 for the cloak, and the 10 for the thing? A thing. God damn it. Sorry, not that. With advantage? Yeah! Look at this! <laughs> oh, I just can't see these. These are fun. Oof. Yeah. Oof, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm kinda used to having it set to DM GM because a lot of this shenanigans out of character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, there can be a lot going on and it's better to just send them both. I just use the first one unless it's on advantage, etc. blah blah blah. But yeah, they they work pretty well and from the for the most part, um so the first one you're unable to tell. Uh, I'm just assuming we go through in the order that they were described. Um, it... roughly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think spear, cloak, and thing. All right, yeah. and what? Sorry, what was your assistance for those again? Um, so I was like, the... look at oh, over that's right. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, so the first one you don't know. Uh, second one, uh, it is a cloak that, as far as you can tell, uh, disables all magical presence. Oh. Ooh. Like, so like so like if something is magic and you put that cloak on it it is no longer seem like magic it's no longer seem like magic right it's not Ooh. not magic it just can't be detected or basically viewed as magic even people perceiving it using an arcana check using a magical device it seems like the function of this is uh you know 
It is B. Well, you don't know the exact name. Actually, no, you rolled a 20. You do know the exact name. Shit. Yeah, it's not a nice 20, but it's a, um, it's still it, a 20. Yep, it's still a 20. It works. Um, I mean, it's a nice 20. It counts. It's just not like a solo. I mean, it's, it's, it's like you guys are it's, it's not a dirty it's, 20. It's just like a, uh, a friendly 20. <laughs> <laughs> that it. And it was a 14 on its own, and then my modifier just made it just I'm hilarious. just giving you shit. Uh, yeah, but no. yeah, the, uh, the name of the item seems to be, uh, no more wizards. Sorry, uh, no more magic. <laughs> Ow. And then signed from the Empirical. Can I history check the name, the Empirical? Wait a minute, how high is your history? Um, my history is a plus four. Plus six. Plus six. Can I assist, um, Florence in rolling a history check? Sure. <laughs> Where did I hear that name before? Twenty-one! Yeah. Really scatter our brains here. Yeah, we're doing so this 21, in the 21. Uh, well, not, well, you don't know much about them. You did. You do remember reading about them once in an ancient textbook about a group of uh, people, for better word, Mac, word, but a powerful group of multiversal people who traveled through the different cosmos, you know, uh, all of the dimensions of Limbo and the Abyssal Plane and uh, tried to eliminate all magic. Oh. Oh. Yep, and, um... Florence kind of put it in the most nicest way. <laughs> what is he? It's like magicators. Uh, yeah! It's a nice way. They have a field day with me. A field day with all of us. And we have a cloak of theirs. Oh gosh, I hope like, they don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> the people who tried to get rid of all magic, so they made a cloak that hides magic. Look, I didn't make their reasons. You don't know the story behind this cloak. You know, Florence, maybe we don't put that on yet. It's yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with that. Uh, and then the last <laughs> item, unfortunately, you, uh, you don't know what it is, but you're not getting good vibes from it. Like, not in, like, a danger vibes, just in, like, a... Kind of like when you see the spider vibes. Uh, it looks, it kind of looks at the uh, thing and it's just like, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> but like, just put it in a bag. And which, yeah, pants are stuff on her, right? Uh, at least her bag, right? I mean, you should. Shouldn't be any reason. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna just like, you know what? I'll put the stuff away. Excellent. So, uh, I mean, I mean, especially since your pockets are kind of full, as she kind of motions to the lots of um, gold uh, pieces and whatnot. And I'll hold on to these. Just so, just so I make a note of it, my gold is in various different pockets, at least two pockets in my boots. A couple in my pockets, like a couple in my junk kit. Like I was a pickpocket. I know how to hide gold. Yeah, I'm almost, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not one for that. I was a pickpocket. I know how to hide gold. Yeah, I don't. Like, I don't. A couple, like there's a couple pieces of gold in my cleavage. <laughs> Which one? Oh, like seriously? Uh, uh, seriously, you had way too much fun picking you, like, you're getting this gold. And she's getting this so <laughs> Listen. Hey, at least don't it's blame. gold and not, like, paper bills, because then we don't have to deal with, uh, boobs that money. Yeah. I have, at least I know that nobody is going to be pickpocketing in my boobs. I don't think anyone had the comments of, of any idea to do that. Well, wow. see that guy out there handling me. Um, so, 
Go ahead. And so wait, um, Axel, what was the name of the cloak? Uh, the No More Magic Mantle, actually. No <laughs> magic. Okay. So is there a source for the ash that I saw? Uh, it seems like it's just on the wall. Like it doesn't, it, like it had been there when you got here, so it's tough to say where it maybe exactly came from, but I mean, it's just uh, on the wall. Chill. Can I touch it? Yeah. I touch it. Is there ash on my hands now? No. 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 It seems like it's like burned into the wall somehow. But like literally into the wall. Not like on the surface of the wall. Like the ash is part of the wall now. Okay. So. And Florence thinks about it. I'm like, hmm. Do you think if we did something like a spell, it would do this? If we do it in time with the old rhythm of this thing. Maybe. I mean, I only have cantrips at the moment. Um, kind of tapped. Um, uh, I do have some spells on me, but I'm not sure if it will work for this. I use Mage Hand and I try to trace one of the runes. Alright, this will be a performance check, let's say. Anything awesome. random that I don't know what it goes under now goes under performance check. Because <laughs> anything can be a performance piece. Yeah, um, the mage hand touches the wall and it just fucks and break, fucking breaks its fingers against the wall with its nat one. Man, you are just all over those today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is like. If it makes you feel better, you are not the only one rolling badly today. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See, you know he was rolling bad because I didn't even say it was him. He just assumed. I know! It could have been me, for goodness sakes. To be fair, pretty much everybody is having an awful roll day today. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> like, the only person I can think of who had some decent, really decent rolls consistently was fucking Diffy. Fucking Diffy. <laughs> I'm seeing that I'm just mashing my mage hand against the wall. I think, I don't think that's working. Uh, well, Lawrence is gonna try. Uh, let's see. Then how about this? And she's going to do dancing lights. And see if she can time it to the... Whatever, uh, the whole pattern of it. Okay. So once again, we will do a performance check. Oh boy. An eight. So you are able to put it up on there. Uh, however, you do not get it quite perfectly. So you need to roll two d8s. Two d8s. Oh my gosh. This is up to me. This'll be the day when I die. Uh, uh, you win. Did it did it send in the right thing? Uh two D eights, right? A four and a five. Alright, so uh you are first transported to a room that seems to just be empty. It's a totally empty room. But as soon as you like hit the ground, another portal appears and you fall immediately through it and you end up Sorry, give me a moment. I have to double check. Did you take the doll with you? In the infinite wisdom of it, let's just assume that she kindly packed the doll away, that it doesn't get harmed. Just for the sake of... 
<laughs> so you me. land you land in a room that is po- occupied by a single corpse. Mother. Yeah, that makes. I'm not gonna be on it. I'm not gonna even kid. Florence is gonna be mildly questioning it. Oh, also roll one d four. One d four. Oh, give me a four. So you take four damage as you fell through both teleportation holes, and the sigil wasn't correct to stop you from taking gravitational pull damage. Okay. Excellent. I'm working on it. I was Get really nud. hoping you would leave the doll in here with me. Why? Because then I would just like sort of sling it onto my back, Baby Yoda style. <laughs> the Baby Yoda style. It. Yep, that sounds legit. Yeah, and then maybe it would stop being mad at me for that time I booped it in his nose. Um. So I'm just fucking by myself now. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, apparently that worked to some degree, and Florence is gonna look around after very much just like, I grew up. Okay, that's not how that works. Uh, she's gonna do, uh, gonna take a look around the place, why not? Oh, nice. There's my perception check of what the hell is she looking at other than... Because there's got to be another sigil in this place, and she's going to kind of be anticipating it. Hopefully this time she doesn't... Oh, gosh. Yeah, she doesn't. Loot the body. No, she is not looting the body. Oh, loot the body! Oh, loot the body! No, no, not the. Oh, loot the body! Coo! Fucking coo! No! Freaking no! Cause that's the logic reason a skeleton comes alive and then wants to murder that person. Nah. You like those rolls, Axel? Ah, uh, you know. You know, they're um, they're rules, of course. Oh, okay, so she's gonna look at those <laughs> those those the warding stones on that. Okay. And she's and she's gonna see if they're any form of magic in them. So you'll need an arcana check. What the f- That's on point! And like <laughs> Axel, there you go. There's your arcana check. Have a nice day. Been waiting for one of these. Oh, wait, it's still not a nat. (laughs) I know, no, it is not nat 20. It's not nat 20 hours. It's still good, though. Um, You notice that they seem to still be, like, imbued with magic. Mm -hmm. But they're kind of dimming, so it's not very strong at the moment. Uh, would she know how to amplify them, even with the little bit of magic in them? Possibly. Speaking of, we should probably wrap it up pretty soon, because it is coming up on... I think it's like 11 Michael's time, 9 my time. I don't know everyone's time zone, so... Yeah. But we are definitely coming near our uh, ending point. Yeah. Which is all good. Uh, but we can definitely finish this out. I was just letting everyone know it's we're about to start winding down and finish it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what would it be for that? Be a, at least to get an idea of how to more or less do that. So in order to do that, you would have to expend a spell slot directly into the rune stone? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, why not? Yeah. Anything but a uh, cantrip will do. Okay, and she's going to do that. Shit. Uh, she's gonna do that. Why 
the heck not? She's going to expand a level one spell slot. Let's see if that does anything. <laughs> All right. So you're going to do that, yes? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. All right. So the the warded rune empowers it lights up a similar glow to the stones on the walls and it is now a glowing rune stone in your hand. Warding stone, rune stone, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And so she only has really one shot of this, and so she's gonna see if she can follow the pattern to this thing. To these other uh, runes. Sorry, one more time. Um, she's going to, um, um, gonna follow the pattern to the runes, if these things have the same similar deal of the room that she was just in, of having a pattern. If they have a pattern to them. They do have a pattern to them. And she's gonna see if she can follow the pattern to that, and this time see if she Alright. See if we can do it better. Yeah. So what would it be? It uh for that probably arcana or performance I guess to mimic it. Um I want to say I want to I would want to roll both just to make sure cuz she only has one shot at this. So, let's see. Alright, so you're able to do it. Yeah, that looks good. You're able to recreate the pattern well. And now you must roll a 1d8. Oh gosh, this is gonna be... Oh gosh, this is gonna be the death of me. Cause... Tell me about it. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Please tell me- wait a minute, I'm gonna be in the same- Oh wait. Mm. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You may not be back in the cause I left, maybe. No, 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 I know what room I'm gonna be in. Yes, you it's do. Gonna be com it's gonna be comical. <laughs> Fucking A. I rolled a 26, by the way. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. You should be able to do it. So, uh, you know, you're able to do that, and now you can roll your 1d8 as you as a portal opens in front of you and sucks you in, basically. Okay. The two. Okay! Okay, this is gonna be comical. Yep, this is a three-way comical joke. It but, is. You know, so, uh, basically, uh, both of you appear in a room full of crypts and coffins. They seem endless as they extend outwards, and there is somebody else in the room, as well as something else in the room. I guess they could be considered oh. a person, too. Oh, great. What the fuck are you two doing here? Oh, what are you doing here? I know, right? Honestly, I don't even fucking know anymore. And, uh, just out of nowhere, by the way, somebody else teleports in. <laughs> no! Oh. I'm gonna give you one guess, and if you can all guess it, I will reveal the plot of the entire story from now till the end. There will be Ew. no- those? Make another guess? I, I give everybody those. one. Um... Good. I mean, I was- my first thought was the doll. What, the, the doll? doll with... Yeah, the doll's with, uh... Clarence! 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 Clarence. Clarence. Nope, that would be the first good guess, right? That would be the obvious guess, because Clarence is also running around in the teleporters. But no, okay, it's so not no. Clarence. 
Anybody else? Uh, okay, so we have Clarence, we have Van uh, the... But I said, you're never gonna guess it, it's okay. No, 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 I'm just, get, I'm trying to get a good general <laughs> idea. Ooh, let me, 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 one more, one more. Alright, one more. Cholo? No, that would have been a good one, too. Mm. Would have made a little more sense than the one I chose. Payas. No. Um... You might guess it now. You've had a couple guesses, so you'll, you'll get closer as you go. There's only so many <laughs> characters that we've named and introduced. At some point, oh, you'll guess them all. Steve the Intern. What's that? It is 100% Generac. No. See, some of these are better than the one I chose. But I, like I said, um, you were never going to guess it. And I, I can't blame you because even the I. It is Leroy the transgender barmaid. Yeah. It only took it took three guesses, but it got it. We should guess. I didn't say anything. Uh. Hi, Leroy. You did very well cleaning up the tent. I'm very proud of you, and I give him a silver piece. He's, he looks up and he's like, how long have you been in here? No, I got in here. You know, like five minutes. Honestly, I don't even know anymore. He just looks See, around, eyes, eyes wide as can be, and, uh... And, you're not gonna like this, but you see a sword sprout from his neck. <gasps> as he is stabbed oh, no. from behind through the neck. Oh my god! I just gave him a silver piece! Yeah, he oh, like coughs blood all over back. it and then drops it. Uh, and that's where we're gonna end the... <laughs> and we're gonna end the story right there. Um, in the middle <laughs> Yeah. And in the meantime, while that was, uh, well, more or less while that was happening, uh, Florence kind of, yeah, um, would she notice this, um, uh, notice this, I wonder. Uh, Florence? Yeah, for something, uh, for, you know. I mean, you should, you both should be in the room at this point, so. Yeah. And I'm screaming, Leroy. Leroy, no, no. He slash she was a beautiful man or woman. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wedge is there with just an exhausted look. I'm fucking tired of this place. I'm so <laughs> fucking tired of this place. <laughs> oh, Florence is happily. First. The room with a motherfucking corpse holding a mace up on a diamond fucking cross pinned to it like fucking Jesus Christ. Now, second after that, I was in a fucking room where I go to pick something off the table and just magically goes back into place perfectly. And then the fucking thingy majig popped up, started asking me questions, threatening to kill me. Then I got sick and tired because Clarence showed up. Now Clarence is gone. I think I don't even know anymore. Sarah show pop his head out fed up with the fucking thingamajig and then he opened this portal and now I'm fucking here and now the barmaid's dead. Meanwhile, Florence and Ursula are just happily just having a moment. <laughs> oh, Ursula's like, yeah, that's what we got Ur <laughs> Ursula was actually the first person in that room. <laughs> Ursula has been in that room since you originally got sucked into that room and Jewel can confirm <laughs> that for me. <laughs> I just imagined I just imagine the scenes in those old movies where they're like running through a field to slow motion dramatic music. Dude, but there's corpses and crypts instead, obviously, so it's the music to that, and it's just like and then Leroy the transgender barmaid is just dying of blood loss in the background, just no, 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 it's not, it's not the music, it's not that music, it's spooky, scary skeletons and shivers <laughs> down the spines. 
I need I need show. someone to animate this scene of uh of the reunion of <laughs> Ursul and Florence. I do this. Hashtag more emotional than BBS. Bam. You know, actually, for the Still a better love story than Twilight. Right. One more time, <laughs> I Michael. I, I was actually thinking of something else for the music, I'm trying to figure out where I posted it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is great. It's all bored. Where did I. And I say. That in the I have my hands on my hips. I have my hands on my hips and I say, you know. Wedge, maybe if you hadn't killed that guy, you wouldn't have deserved a little bit of it, a little bit of, uh, discomfort. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I hate to bring this up again, but I really want to bring this up again and tell you you fucked up that show. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Wait, I, it's just a good thing Jem is in here right now, because Jem would have just opened fire. <laughs> Does Wedge look close to death? No. No, Wedge Excellent. looks pretty good. Let's get it. Excellent. You, you, you complete coat hanger of a person, <laughs> of an Ursulazi. You dusty ass. I'm gonna run up to you and ignore it and I can vicious mockery. Oh, I want to note that you've done this right after the death of Leroy the transgender barman. Oh, shit. 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 I I should stop this, but at the same rate, I'm too damn tired for this. It was <laughs> yeah. you, take, you take two damage, and I say I'm a little less mad at you because I vicious mockeried you and called you a dusty ass person. You know, just because I'm an Earth Ganassi and naturally have dust on me, you a bitch. <laughs> oh. Oh. I want I want to yeah. note that I rolled for this, by the way. Uh, in in his death throes, Leroy, the transgender barmaid, is like reaching out to you and just like, no fighting. <laughs> I'm actually legitimately sad that Leroy died. <laughs> I, know. I know. That's I know, because I know. Leroy has actually, over courses of time, become an. In when you become familiar with the character, even if they're not close to you, or important, they they matter. <laughs> And it doesn't even have to be like a good character. It just has to be a character who keeps showing up that you don't hate. Exactly. I've, I've right, 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 right. I found what I was thinking of, and I'm gonna post it in the general. No, I I'm gonna heard... post it in uh, subplot. Yeah, subplot. This is the music I feel is going on when this is all happening. What's the Benny Hanna music? Oh God, the yeah. Benny Hill theme, yeah. really? Yeah. Do -do 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 See, this is the music that I imagined happening while you guys were teleporting around. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Just like, where are they? Falling right through the floor. Yep, sounds about right. And Florence is kind of glad she did that. Oh, man. So this worked I, out. I took how much damage from Vicious Knockery? Two? Two. Yeah. All right. I I, I just want to note that the story is at a pause at this point. <laughs> it's, I, and it's great. It's great. But, I mean, seriously. Uh, I cannot believe how well everything kind of fit back together. <laughs> like, I kind of led it to it, but, like, some of it just naturally happened. Like, so, for example, them coming back in time to see the flash of light, that had no, I didn't, I couldn't plan that. Or yeah. have them around looking for that at that time. You know, they had to decide to do that. The fact yeah. that... Looking, the, looking for people? Also, I just want to know... I think it was like a full, like, ten minutes that I had Michael and Jewel interacting with each other without actually knowing who each other were. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. I, and that. I got away with it because they rolled really shitty perception rolls. 
Yeah, but I kind of figured they're out of character. I had a feeling, but at the same token... I didn't I, I gave hints. Here's the thing, I gave hints. I know. That's I gave a lot I... of hints. Even to Michael, I'm like, a, a larger than average kobold is walking towards the tent. Yeah. I was like, do you want to ask? No, you don't, you, don't, you don't understand. I did catch on, I just didn't fucking care. <sighs> Yeah, it just says Let if we're all give a shit. He has one mission right now. Cause chaos, apparently. Plus, I'm I'm kind of your boss, so. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's right. She got promoted. <laughs> Time she... for. She got promoted to ringmaster. No one's my fucking boss. Ooh. Wedge. Wedge is chaotic evil. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, you're literally chaotic evil. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And he is doing what he is supposed to be doing in this campaign. Blah ha, 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 ha. Chaos. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah, a lot of people like, in this campaign might not be what they appear to be. <laughs> Once I again. The fun but I find it funny because the whole altar self. Because uh, kobolds are naturally small. And a medium sized creature can't fully do the whole thing. So I was like, well. It's just gonna look like a very a little bit taller. Oh, well, at least in the top end of the spectrum, I would think. And by the way, mutations happen. There may be taller. <laughs> by the way, hey, look, man, it's okay. I would, I, I was very like chintzy about it, trying to like give you just enough for enough. Like I'm, I'm obviously stealing from my favorite writers. I give you just enough information to know that it could happen, but not enough information to suggest that it would happen. Necessarily, exactly. and I ran with the idea. The, the other like, funnier part is the originally that was just a kobold. Yeah, there was originally a kobold, <laughs> and which um, got his ass beat by the same pseudo dragon that was giving you shit. <laughs> the same pseudo dragon that gave you shit. It literally punted the kobold. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 we don't talk about that match. That happened, it was funny. Went first oh, on the initiative, oh, oh, and... Ooh, I got something great. Alright, alright. You can go on, this, this is actually gonna be something, uh... Private. That's gonna be a message to somebody. Oh. Hashtag Who's me? Who's gonna get the message? But I liked it. I liked that. I'm sorry, but I found that hilarious. That, like I said, by little, the... that little miniature moment was funny to me. By the time we got Carly over to the tent, I was just like, I don't know how this happens. I'm not as impressed with my favorite writers anymore, because this shit just writes itself. <laughs> yeah, especially the fact that the perception check for trying to find this dragon, good luck, it was a 19. <laughs> Like I said, all of the worst and best roles happen to keep everybody separated and coming together at, like, a specific point. Yes. I tried really hard not to fudge any roles. I think I fudged one or two roles to move people to specific places. But they weren't player roles, they were my roles. So, I'm God, I decide. And I was like... If I, yeah. if I think it's funnier that you show up in, you know, with this side character than this side character, there that's the that's why Leroy's here. And what? then the running gag joke of that. I'm sorry, but I had to do that. It was funny that this ti this tiny pseudo dragon catches the gets the key and just almost wants to have a chicken run moment. I saw you doing that. I was like, I know Jewel and the pseudo dragon would probably co. Co, you know, just like go ahead with them, but they're trying to like play the pseudo dragon as like a cute pet, which is yeah, but <laughs> this is it. That's what a cute pet would do. Just like no, my keys. Yeah, yeah. It was actually gonna go grab a rope, but it failed on the I need to find the said rope. Yeah, it crit <laughs> failed on the need to find said rope. <laughs> That's why it was pissed. <laughs> That's why it was pissed. You wanted to find rope? Why did you want rope? To tie the key. Like, you know, tie the key to it. I'm not, oh. I'm not gonna lie, I've also finally 
fleshed out the ending of the story. Like, I've always have a beginning and end, but how you get there changes as you write. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as people do things, like, I really like doing this. I almost want to write a whole story based off of just a D&D &D adventure where I just roll for all of the, like, all right, here's the hero of the story. Oh, shit, they're dead. New hero of the story. <laughs> yep, yep. Ah, gosh, and then that was great. But yeah, yeah, but she cr uh, the pseudo dragon crit failed, so it's with that's what it's partially pissed off. <laughs> I'm also really glad no one guessed Leroy. For the first thing, because yeah. I really wanted to keep the secret ending secret. I didn't say anything, because I'm going to let you enjoy it. This is a story, and this is a funny ass story <laughs> that I've got to enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was definitely interesting to try to put the individual stuff together. And then there's no 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 the funniest thing is that portal moment. I'm like did did we just have a portal moment for that? So, I mean I took the more damage, I will take that more damage. But the portal moment was beautiful. Yeah, that was a portal moment. You you up the sign cofig, so you just fell two stories through holes basically. Which I'll be fine with. Which usually would be counteracted by writing the correct sigil, but messed up the sigil a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> also, uh. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's just great. Meanwhile. So what happens was. Sarah Show pops his head out of my leather jerkin and speaks in draconic. That's and after he does that, Wedge lets let out the sigh and shakes his head. And which uh, 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 Flores is trying not to laugh. What does he say? Uh, Wedge Florence just kind of looks at you yeah, like I I. Don't encourage him. I. Uh, what do you mean? I, I didn't. I'm not encouraging it. I'm not busting out laughing. It's mean. I mean, he just. Uh, uh, like he just died. She's referring to what you She tried to. Uh, I would say, do we have a doctor in the house? But certainly, we, this is not a house, or nor is we do neither of us have the material for it. Yeah. In if fact, we get body, I I cannot believe we still have not made it to morning. I know, I know, I, I know. I think I just got there. at this point, I think we've spent more time in D and D game than has actually progressed in in game time. <laughs> I know. This is I know, what our great. fifth car one on this this specific module or whatever, and they're all like three or four hours a piece. That's like 20 yeah. hours. That's oh, almost a full day. And it hasn't even been a full day in the carnival yet. It was the morning when we started. We were eating breakfast. <laughs> but Lawrence looks over at uh, Wedge and is like, uh, if I may ask, though, you touch your... Um companion to speak what is it and she kind of points towards um Ursul and says something like what this one can understand right I did not teach him that he knew that when I met him and that's why he won't leave me alone because I understood draconic and I put up with this shit oh I mean Mainly because he, since I put up with his shit, he allows me to milk his venom. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so you milk his venom. Wait, okay. Wait. <laughs> Putting up with his bullshit, yes. Mm -hmm. See, and I'm in which Russell is very much amused, even though Florence won't say it. Uh, I'm also just delighted, <laughs> just absolutely radiating already delighted. I was like applauding the sh uh, the joke. 
What was the joke? I gotta know. Anyways, what's that? Uh, what, what, what Sarah Show said was when he popped his head out of my jerk and he goes, Hey, hey, Wedge, why can't you fool a snake? Because they don't have any feet. Meanwhile, Florin, uh, Florin's like, um, but I don't, I'm, I don't get it. I minor, I minor illusions on crickets. Leroy, oh. Leroy, the transgender barmaid, claps meekly and weakly. <laughs> Anyone Leroy, the transgender barmaid, is a linguist, by the way. That's what he went to college. Uh. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's gonna be great. Um, is there any chance we can someone can someone get a doctor on the on staff? Um, uh, out of character, out of character. Mm -hmm. I do have my last spell of cure wounds, second level. Mm. Yeah, and. Florence does have a plus three to her, um, medicine. And if she gets, um, Ursul to help. <laughs> oh, we also have a plus three to medicine. So, I mean... DM, do we want to run the uh, retcon this is a really bad timing, but why not? I just... He's not dead yet. He's not dead I yet. Know. Yeah, I never said he died. I said he got stabbed in the throat, fell to the ground, gurgling blood. Yeah, yeah, no. Let's, Lots let's of people live through that. If we a medicine check, we should probably see what stabbed him. I That was always my thing, is everyone's, like, just chilling here talking for, like, five minutes. Meanwhile, Leroy is just being hacked into pieces at this point. I know, but it's just, like, I thought we I was, it. I was all I you, thought the fishing might have ended. Uh, it, it did, but we were talking even before that, like, kind of back and forth thing, and I was this close to making that and just saying, like, and while you're talking, he just, like, hacks the rest of Leroy's head off. Just, brah. But I did, yeah. I did not say that, because I like Leroy, and he has a chance. Yeah. Not a big chance, but... We'll yeah. save Leroy. We'll save him. He didn't, he didn't insta-die, and we have two people with plus three medicine. That's, like... Hmm. A and doctor in those times. Yeah, but also at the same rate, um, <laughs> one can run with advantage because of got the familiar back. It's true. Yeah, there, there's lots that you've gotten. But like I said, everything is kind of back to that point now where almost everyone's together. Uh, they're in a situation, but not in a bad situation necessarily. Once uh, again, we we somehow basically avoided combat except for that one time and yeah for all intents and purposes did a good job um but can we, okay can we just see what the heck even slash Leroy I mean that's for next episode gotta be Dang it. gotta be a dramatic cliffhanger and with that oh. being said I'm gonna stop recording and streaming yeah <laughs>